You know, games can be pretty fun. But you knew that already, didn't you? Didn't you? But sometimes they're, they're just mildly annoying. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes the characters, they just get to you. They get under your skin and you start to cringe at the idea of even looking at their stupid faces. Why does this character even ex- It's like, it's like, hey! So, how dare you do that right now? You gonna, you gonna let me do the thing? I'm trying to do a thing over here. You gonna let me do the thing? You gonna play Mortal Kombat? Yeah, you're just gonna, you're gonna sit there and spam the flying kick that Liu Kang does. You're, you're really gonna, you're just gonna do that? I'm trying, well, I'm trying to do a thing. You said, you said you weren't gonna play Mortal Kombat while I was doing the thing. Top 10 most annoying characters, yeah! Tingle from The Legend of Zelda is pretty annoying. Not even like a, oh, I can forgive his behavior sort of way either. No, he's just plain annoying. He's always doing that weird noise whenever you see him. Like, what is that? Is he excited? Is that how people show excitement? Have I been... Have I been doing it wrong? How do you even make that noise? Yeah, more like this. What makes matters even worse is that Tingle is a necessary character that you have to interact with in most of the games that he appears in. He actually sells you Triforce maps in Wind Waker. I didn't think you could put a price on a Triforce. And charges you exorbitant prices on them too. 398 rupees for a chart? Looks like I'm gonna have to resort to violence. Now I might actually get a lot of hate for this, but I'd like to predicate what I'm about to say with this. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is an amazing game. There. We good? Can I continue? You want me to say you want me to say the thing that I was gonna say before you want me to say the thing before the other thing I was about to say? Bastelot was really annoying to me. At first I was going to pick Kreia from Knights of the Old Republic 2. She's annoying in a different way. And some could argue that she's preachy annoying, and not just plain annoying. I don't understand what you want from me! But Bastila is different. She's way younger. <laughs> Actually, she's just incredibly arrogant and cocky, and never gives your character a second thought until you basically become more powerful than her. I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? The Force? The Force? Oh, oh, the Force! I couldn't possibly know what that was. I guess that's partly due to her battle meditation abilities. Foresight would probably make you a bit cocky. But still, it doesn't change the fact that she's pretty annoying in at least the first part of the game. Oh, Animal Crossing, you're actually a pretty fun game. But every time I turn you off incorrectly, I'd be prompted with this. Every time you were about to leave, you'd ask you to save the game. And then I'd probably say, F you, Mr. Rossetti. Just F you. And you know why I did this? It's because I rise against conformity and authority. I'm a straight-up thug. But when you came back, he'd always give you a long-ass speech about why you should always save your game. It's like, what's this? Some sort of public speaking seminar? I thought I was playing a game, Animal Crossing. <laughs> but Mr. Rossetti's reign of terror doesn't end at that. In fact, he's probably even more annoying in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Whenever you get Rossetti from the assist trophies, you instantly let out a sigh of exasperation. <sighs> Because he sits there for like what seems like 10 minutes as he just incessantly talks about... About something. It's like crust on bread, you know what I mean. Cut it off, leave it on, who really- What is he talking about? Mr. Rossetti, you're annoying, and I hate you. Yeah, I'm playing a Mario game! Whoa, it's an RPG. Hammer Brothers are a lot bigger than I remember. I wonder who the first character in my party's going to be. Uh oh. Did you think it was going to be this Did you think it was going to be this guy? Did you think it was going to be him? Frog Boy? 
Mario RPG has to be one of the best games ever made. There's definitely one character from the series that annoys me the most. And no, it's not this booster guy, even though in his castle you get to do the little Super Mario Bros. Easter egg, and I'm mentioning that for no other reason than it's cool. The booster is kinda annoying though. Nope, it's Mallow. I think what makes him so annoying to me is that he's just a wussy character. He cries all the time, he's generally pretty weak, even his abilities are outmatched by every single other character you get in the game. Hey look guys, I can heal you with a rain cloud! Oh. He also totally gets robbed by this raptor thing. How do you get robbed by something with tiny arms? Pretty sure it's a physical impossibility for a raptor to have good sleight of hand. Is the, is the tiny arms. Just saying. Oh, you're just gonna let him bum rush past you. Cool. Wuss. Earthbound is a pretty crazy game. I honestly feel like there is this enigmatic aura surrounding the game, even today, and even though I've beaten the game more than once. But the one fun thing about the game is that there are plenty of unique characters. You have Frank, the arcade owner, Mr. Saturn's Orange Kid, the Apple Kid. But one character is just so annoying, but almost in a good way. Pokey is so damn annoying! He's great! When you first get him in the very beginning of the game, he cowers around and basically never attacks. He even tries to use you as a human shield. The way I sort of see Pokey is almost like Eric Cartman from South Park. Actually, yeah, that, that seems about right. He's the type of person who will ask for a favor only to use it against you later, or take something to the extreme just to get the upper hand. That can also be seen in the end where you have to fight him in like, a, is this a spy, spider mech? How did we get here again? This is one of those cases where the annoyingness of the character plays more into the strength of the overall character. But man, he's still damn annoying. Hey Natalia, could you just... Could you just come here? Could you just... Could you just come here? Could you just... <laughs> Gold Knight was the pinnacle of first-person shooters, and to this day is still pretty fun in short doses. But there is one thing I've always hated about this game. Freaking Dolly, why are you so annoying? She always manages to get lost or stuck in really random spots. I swear one time she even glitched out of the entire level for me. Like, she literally just disappeared out of existence. I wish I could have gotten footage of it. There's also one segment in this game where you have to defend her against an oncoming onslaught of enemies and it could be one of the most frustrating levels in gaming ever. So I guess her annoyingness stems more from her incapabilities than her actual character. And now, for something different. Oh, you see, you see, you put the landmines on the wall. That's step one. And then you go, you go over here, you take out your watch. You, go, you take out your watch. You don't have to take out your watch. I guess I lied. She's back! <laughs> Woohoo! It's a Mario game! This isn't gonna be so bad. <laughs> yeah, I got a haircut. If you've seen my King's Quest V review, you know exactly where I'm going with this. There's a little known character from that series who is particularly annoying, and he comes in the form of a talking owl named Cedric. Yeah, it's called Style, everyone. Cedric the Owl, how could I not include him? He's always questioning your every move and warning you of completely obvious dangers. Watch out for the bear, Grim! Wait a sec. I think I've used this one a few times. Oh well! If it wasn't for the fact that he offers me some sort of comic relief, I think he might have taken the number one slot. But I can think of two more characters that annoyed me even more. Even, even more than Cedric. Oh god. What are they? I can't take this. I can't take this. <laughs> Arena of Time! What a classic! I love this game! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm having fun! Make stop! Every single-
single time I play this game is like clockwork. Navi has to be one of the most annoying characters ever created. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the, hey, listen, but what's done is done. There is no rewriting. Oh, oh, wait. There, there is a remake of the game, isn't there? Maybe there's a chance! <laughs> <sighs> How could I not? How could I not put Slippy the Toad in the first slot? No amount of Hey Listens would have prepared you guys for this. If he was yelling, Hey Listen, it would be an improvement. Wait, that, wait, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I was always wondering what's going through the minds of Star Fox developers when they thought of this character. I mean, who, who was the guy who was like, Hey, you know what? We should put in a Toad. We should put in a Toad. Hey, you know what we should do? We should make have a high-pitched voice and always call out for help all the time. This does sound like a bad idea. Hey, BRB, I gotta go pitch a character design for a Zelda game about a human fairy who sells you maps. Doesn't it seem like Nintendo just has the market cornered on annoying characters at this point? I mean, don't get me wrong. Nintendo, I love you. You're basically my whole childhood. But isn't it kind of funny that you can't go one franchise without some eccentric and annoying character? And Sleepy the Toad is definitely at the top of the list. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. This is 10 seconds into the first level of the game, and he's already complaining. He's already under attack. So, of course, I decided to help him. I always thought I was a really good helper. And now, some classic Slippy the Toad quotes. No! Ah! Who could forget such quotes as... Fuck! Fuck! Or... Let's take it to him, bud! And don't forget about this one. You can get them all. 999.99 plus a rupee. I'm gonna get the rupee. Hey, you want some exclusive updates? Well... Hey, listen, hey, listen! You can follow me on Spacebook where you click like buttons and increase my EP. Thanks for watching my video! I did it just for you. And for the old lady down the street who promised me some hard candies. Hey, wait a second. It's time to collect! Yeah! Also, don't forget to let me know who you think is the most annoying character. Because I care about you. There's feelings. And if you click on the screen right now, it'll take you to other stuff. From those times I did the other things. Okay, bye.